Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on conversion, focusing on area. Now before we move on, let's recap on some simple conversions of lengths, as we need this knowledge for area. Remember, 10 millimeters is exactly the same as 1 centimeter, 100 centimeters is exactly the same as 1 meter, 1000 meters is exactly the same as 1 kilometer. Also remember, the area of a rectangle or a square is simply length multiplied by the width. So now let's use this information to build our knowledge on units of area. Looking at this simple square, which is a 1 cm by 1 cm, the area would simply be 1 cm squared. Now converting these units, I'm going to use millimetres. So that means I know 1 cm is the same as 10 millimetres, 1 cm is the same as 10 millimetres, and look at the area. The area is 10 times 10, which is 100 millimetres squared. So that means 1 cm squared is exactly the same as 100 millimetres squared. We can apply the same thing to metres. So looking at this square, which is a 1 metre by 1 metre, let's rewrite the exact same square but in centimetres. Well, it would be 100 centimetres by 100 centimetres. So the area in centimetres squared would be 10,000 centimetres squared. So you can see these conversions of our units of area. 1 cm squared is exactly the same as 100 mm squared. 1 m squared is exactly the same as 10,000 cm squared. And 1 km squared, well, if you know 1,000 m is 1 km, 1,000 times 1,000 would give me 1 million m squared. So now we've quickly gone through the units of area, let's see if we can put it to a question. Here the past exam question wants us to change 3 meters squared to centimeters squared. Well, I know that 100 centimeters is 1 meter. So multiplying our 3 by 100 and 100 makes 30,000 centimeters squared. So therefore, 3 meters squared is exactly the same as 30,000 centimeters squared. Now let's have a look at 5,000 millimetres squared and changing it to centimetres squared. Well, I know 10 millimetres is 1 centimetre. So therefore, changing 5,000 millimetres squared to centimetres means I need to divide by 10 and divide by another 10, which gives me 50 centimetres squared. So in order for us to successfully convert the units of area, it's really important that we know our units of length. Now let's have a look at a different exam question. Well, here the question shows a diagram of a part of a wall in Sarah's house. Sarah is going to cover part of the wall with square tiles, and the square tiles have sides of 20 centimetres. We're asked to work out the number of tiles Sarah needs. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to tackle this question. Always choose the method that's best for you, as long as you show you're working out and you get the right answer. So firstly, let's convert. Well, we know 2 metres is 200 centimetres, and we know 3 metres is 300 centimetres. So if we know one square tile has a length of 20 centimetres, how many square tiles can we have going along our 300 centimetres? Well, 300 divided by 20 means I can get 15 square tiles all along the length. Now let's have a look at our width. Well, I know each square tile is 20 centimetres in width, and we have to fit them along 200 centimetre width. So that means 200 divided by 20 means I can fit 10 square tiles along the width. Well, if I can fit 15 square tiles along the length and 10 square tiles along the width, therefore I can work out the total number of tiles needed to be 150 square tiles, because it's 15 times our 10. Now I'm going to show you another way. An alternative way would simply to work out the area. Well, we know the total area of Sarah's wall is 300 times 200, which is 60,000 centimetres squared. We know the area of each tile can be found by 20 times 20, which is 400 centimetres squared. And then we could simply divide. 60,000 divided by 400 would give us our 150 square tiles. 
This is an alternative way, but there is quite a few calculations here and it is quite difficult in a non-calculator exam. This method is a little bit easier and deals with smaller numbers. So in conclusion, when dealing with conversion, with particular area or volume, make sure you know your units of length. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.